Where's my son, Todd? Which son are you referring to? The one that your fiance had with Robert Ford or the one you had with now? We can do this here, we can do it at the state. Officer Lovett, I suggest you dial it back. Dial it back? My son's mid- And we sympathize with you. But threatening my husband is not going to bring Liam back. I'm looking for Liam. Good luck with that. Where is he, Todd? Hey. Well, I know. I'd like to know why you're questioning my husband, Officer Lovett. What makes you think Todd has any knowledge as to Liam's whereabouts? Because Bess said so. What do you mean? The hottest guys usually have the worst technique. <laughs> you have no idea how much I've needed to hear that. Ugh. Something wrong? Nope, not a thing. Oh, good. You're both here. You had better be here to talk about having Tess committed. I'm ready to roll on getting Tess into St. Anne's ASAP. All we have to do is talk about how much it's going to cost you. Who the hell are you to march into an ICU room and start making demands? I'm sorry. I was under the impression you wanted to help your daughter and get her committed. I guess I'll just take my power of attorney and uh, just go. You guys can uh, let Tess have her fun in Landview. Wait! Wait! Let's talk. Excellent. I can't wait to see how much you think your daughter's worth. Ah, so Bess is back, huh? Well, this keeps getting better and better. She was here long enough to answer a question. Well, maybe you should come back and tell me where my remote control is. You think this is funny? Todd, this man is looking for his son. Well, whose side are you on? Yours, so don't be a jackass. Oh, come on. We're not supposed to take this stuff seriously, so Jessica had another meltdown, and, you know, now everything she says is the gospel truth. Bess is the gatekeeper personality. She's logical and truthful. She's the one that uh, dresses like a librarian. Bess spoke to one of the other altars. <laughs> Said you wait, were a minute, wait a minute, wait, hold on. There's another altar? I thought there were only two. Uh, Tess and Bess. A third one showed up the other day. Wes. I've got no shame. Jessica is mentally ill. She needs help. And you want to trade her sanity for money? Not all of us are born rich. Some of us have to work for it. Work? Oh, what kind of work is it that you do? If you don't think your daughter's work, you don't know her. You're asking for sympathy. Or maybe a little gratitude. Gratitude? Hey, I'm here, aren't I? I'm going to work things out. All right, my predecessor, Robert Ford, he was on Tess's side. He was after your grandson and your money. He never wanted Jessica to come back. He needed her to stay crazy. Oh, oh, but you have Jessica's well-being in mind. Hey, I'll take her down to St. Anne's right now for a fee. What if we decline your generous offer? Then I'll just sit on my hands and Jessica can raise a whole army of altars, one for every mood. No STDs. I'm perfectly healthy. I promise. Goodbye, Wes. Oh, has it been that long? You can't tell the boys from the girls? It's me, your wife. Wes, my name all. Your wife? Actually, my ex-wife. Listen, whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I'm on a date, so get lost. Oh, this is a date? Uh, <laughs> I thought this was a business transaction. I was going to tell your girl here to get her money up front because Ford is one meter away from the welfare roll. All right, what do you want? Not you. This guy has a sexual technique of an amoeba. It's like he's having sex with himself. Like oh, I said, excuse she's, she's me. About... A year ago, you, me, and that soggy mattress. 
I can't believe that we made a baby. He had lift off for like 30 seconds. And you're still talking about it? Sounds like someone's jealous. Jessica has another alter named Wes. Like you don't know. The two of you are hiding my son. I, I would never play fast and loose with the safety of one of my niece's kids. No, just the safety of your own. Okay. All right, get him out okay, of here. I will. Listen. Brody, Brody, could you fill me in a little? Who is this West character? He's modeled on a buddy of mine from the Navy. Uh -huh. I introduced him oh. to Jessica and told her some stories. Wes is a man? So, uh, Wes knows something about Liam? He ran into Marty last night at the Minuteman. She had Liam with her. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you've seen, but on TV, there's a reward out. Oh, really? How much? Oh, I just want to know how much. Well, who's paying it? Clint. Oh. What is it, 10 bucks? 20 bucks? <laughs> well, he's not exactly the model grandpa. A million dollars, but since you've been implicated, you can forget it. Oh! Okay, so well. wait, wait, wait. You were saying that, um... Marty no. was at the Minuteman with Liam and Wes. Yes, and we got a call putting Marty at the motel, someone looking for the reward. John and I went over there, but she had already taken off. Man, he was fine. So, so, so Wes, Wes uh, was there still? Yes, and we questioned him, but we didn't get much out of him. And then Beth surfaced and said that she'd spoken to Wes and only got two words out of him. Todd Manning. Okay, all right, okay. Let me get this straight. <sighs> One of Jessica's alters told another one of Jessica's alters, stop it, who told you that Marty said the words Todd Manning? You know what, I would, I would almost love to drag you in front of a judge, Brody, just to see the look on his face when he told him this. Jealous of you. Emma, I think you may be on something. You can't stand to see me with another girl, oh. can you? You can date any preteen you like, or a girl who's as stupid as one. Hey. I dumped you, okay? I traded up for a new and improved version. Tess had our marriage in old and then married some gigolo. He's same. not a gigolo. All I know is he's not here. What, he get sick of you already, Tess? Huh? For your information, Ford, Cutter's in the middle of closing a very important business deal. I'm going to start my marriage off right, and when I say right, I mean rich. Then we'll see who's jealous. You are both aware that Jessica just sprouted a new altar, some guy named Wes. Yes, we are aware of it. We know all about it, and if the stories about this Wes character are true, I have my doubts about you being able to deliver. Mm. Lucky for you, Tess is back, and she is a big Cutter fan. She's back at the Capricorn right now, planning a little celebration. She thinks I'm going to whisk her away to some place, courtesy of this new deal I've been working on. She has no idea about any of this. Oh, but you've got it all planned out, huh? You better hope so, because you're not going to get another chance. So what'll it be, Clint? That's my offer. This'll do nicely. The funds can be transferred to your account at a moment's notice, the minute we get Jessica. There's, uh, one more thing that I want. You're so pathetic. Get out of here. No one's going anywhere until I get my son back and Marty Saybrook's in custody. Marty hates me. Why would she come here? You hit her once before, right upstairs. Listen, I understand that you are anxious and frustrated about Liam. But Todd just got back from the hospital, okay? And I can assure you, Marty has not called. She hasn't stopped by. All right? Then why would Jessica try to give me that message that Todd has Liam? Do you want to hear my hypothesis? Marty told Jessica that, if in fact she did tell Jessica that, because she was trying to get the police off her trail. She had to have heard on TV about the appeals and rewards, and she knew you were after her. Yeah, you see, that's why I married her. <sighs> no, you married me because I'm the only woman in town who put up with you. No, anyway, say goodbye, officer. Look, I can assure you, Marty is not here, all right? Well, if that's the case, then there should be no problem in me searching the premises. Do you have a warrant? <laughs> of course he's got no warrant. He's got nothing. Can you imagine a judge? The judge would just laugh him out of court. The, uh, yes, sir, the, uh, the altar of my altar uh, says that the crazy woman is a Todd. Come on. So that's how you want to plan? Because <clears throat> okay. I got to tell you, Taya, if Marty is here, you're just as guilty as Todd. Uh, but you're not threatening my wife, are you? She's a lawyer. She knows when she's All right, that's it. Get the hell out of me. Hey! Hey!
Tom you Manning, just got out of you were under arrest for assaulting police officer. Ow. And now I don't need a warrant. Hey, hey, did you hear me? He, he just got out of the hospital. That goes for you too, Tam. Uh, Wait a minute, what, what are you, on what grounds are you arresting her? Interfering with an officer Ow. in pursuit of his duties. He <laughs> made that up. You better stop worrying about yourself. Start praying that my son's all right. Because if he isn't... Why you trust Carter? He's my kind of people, unlike you. He only married her for one reason, the money. Like you didn't. I was trying to get custody of my son. And the money to raise him, admit it. You were going to be evicted. Thanks to you. Um, wiener boy here doesn't even have the money to buy diapers, let alone pay the rent. Even the court wouldn't grant you custody of your own son. I didn't get custody of my son because the judge didn't believe that you were justified. Thanks to you? At least I was trying to make it work. By having me committed. It was the only way to get my son. So you get to go off and play daddy and I what? Crochet pot holders? And once Kurt gets what he wants? Oh, baby, he gets what he wants every day, over and over and over. You are lying. He's the best I ever had. He's using you! And once he gets what he wants, he's gonna leave and you're gonna be back in St. Anne's. You can't be serious! You want my house? I need a place to live. I am quite sure that with whatever Clint offered you on that piece of paper, you can buy any house in the county. Yeah, but this is the one that I want. It's not on the market. Vicky, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. This was your father's house. It's your home. I'm not going to stand by and watch this leech bleed you dry. I don't know what kind of resistance you've met with in the past when you would pull this sort of thing, but I will not allow you to waltz into our lives and just make off with whatever you want. That sounds like a no. You bet it's a no. Vicky, stop, please. Okay. I tell you what, you guys can keep the house. And I'll keep your daughter. For better or worse, right? <laughs>